this video, we're going to install a 20 inch LED light bar on top of a Weston Bull Bar. I got this KC Highlights C Series LED light bar, number C20, to go on the Bull Bar. And there it is. And uh, it doesn't look too, too difficult. So wiring wise, we've got the light that has a pigtail off of it. Pigtail connects to this end of the pigtail, which has got a whole bunch of wires. And that goes into a relay, which will have to be mounted. The relay has an inline fuse, uh, and positive and ground. And then on the other side of the relay is the wiring to the switch, which goes inside the car. So we're gonna have to find a place to get through the firewall. And then uh, simply three terminals to the switch, which goes inside the car. Mounting hardware, some straps. This is the main electrical firewall entrance for all of the stock stuff, all of the factory stuff. And uh, did a lot of research on the, the internet there and I tried the whole poke a hole thing, but it's a double grommet. There's, a, there's one there and then there's one uh, on the inside. And there is pretty much every single important wire that goes inside the car in this bundle. Now as far as getting through the firewall is concerned, I have a whole separate detailed firewall video and I'll put the link for it here. All right, check it out. Uh, this is the switch from the LED light uh, that needs to go through the firewall. And look, it's got these two things here. Those serve no purpose whatsoever other than screwing me over when it comes to getting these through my hole. So I'll be cutting those off and I'm probably gonna feed this black wire through first. It is gonna be a struggle to get it through. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off and use both hands. All right, so the LED light, and before I install it, I wanna make sure it works. The sequence is black, blue, white. So I'm just gonna test it out before I uh, spend any time trying to mount it. We're, uh, we're inside the car, we're at the switch. I haven't done anything uh, to try to route the switch or anything like that. Like I said, I'm gonna test first uh, so I don't waste time. Uh, the reason why it's not working right now is I need to put the fuse in. All right, so our fuse is in. And we should now have electricity to switch. Got electricity to switch now. It's uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and plug our big light in and see if we've got power there. All right, so here's our first go with our 20-inch LED, and it appears as though it's working good. Putting off a lot of light. So now I feel comfortable installing it. When I ordered this bull bar and this light from the online retailer, uh, they ensured me that the light was made for the bull bar and that it would go together without any problems whatsoever. And then I received it. And as you can see, the pre-drilled holes for the bull bar are here and the brackets for the light are way over here. So long story short, no, they, they don't go together. The manufacturer of the light bar is uh, Casey Highlights. They very graciously, with no charge, uh, sent me one of these guys which was very, very cool of them, uh, not knowing that Weston's bull bar has this rock plate that goes right up to uh, the bar itself. And it doesn't just end right there, it actually wraps along the bar itself, rendering these guys not useful at all. Uh, so I called Weston next, and uh, Weston does have brackets, but they are on back order for uh, months. So I made my own brackets, and they're ugly and cheesy, but they'll serve their purpose until the uh, Weston brackets get here in 60 days or whatever it ends up being. I ended up going to Lowe's and just buying two um, L brackets. And then uh, all I did was 
I bolted the L brackets together to make kind of a Z bracket right there and then that's where it goes into the uh, bull bar the original bull bar mounting point and then I was able to mount it there as well so as you can see it makes kind of a Z like so now I'm gonna take this big piece of plastic off and uh, drill my holes and uh, mount my relays first thing I got to do is uh, is get this thing back off there are two tabs here on the side you have to lift up but once you get clear of the two tabs this entire piece comes out there's three or four of my holes and the fourth hole so let's get drilling now right, I'm gonna drill some pilot holes first pilot holes that guy's a one quarter Relay for the fan, relay for the fan, and that's a relay. It's another relay for the fan uh, as it goes to the AC clutch. As far as wiring is concerned, this is our main wire, and heading in that direction right there, it's going through the firewall, and there's the switch. And then coming in this direction, it basically splits into two. One goes to our relay, which I've mounted on the side of the box. And the other end is very straightforward. Coming out of uh, the wire on this end is a black and a red wire. The black goes to ground. So wherever you decide to ground it, make sure you scratch off the paint to get a good ground. And then the red goes to the positive side of the battery. And then the other side just basically goes inside the car and uh, goes to the switch. All right, so as far as the wiring from the light is concerned, it comes out right here. And I've got a tie clip holding it to the bracket and it just kind of comes down and it goes I ran the wire on the inside here are the mounts to the bull bar there's a tie clip right there and a tie clip right there so there's from from the clip it just goes up and I just kind of snake it along where I could and it just goes on up uh, get ready to mount my LED bar switch and probably just going to use this right here. Yeah, it was disappointing that I couldn't just cut a square into this. But both of them have all that honeycomb or whatever you want to call it crap. It just wouldn't work. Plus it's, it's just a little bit wider. It's just a little bit wider than the square. But it does fit like... Alright, so the only way I was able to make it work in the existing area here was to mount it vertically and it's in there and there is a screw that comes in from the side here and pokes into the back of it and that's what's kind of holding it in place there you go so it works and it's not gorgeous but it's good enough for me and my lights work nice they are extremely bright can't really tell in here, but I am anxious to get it out on the road and at night, test it off-road, of course. Hope you enjoyed this video. I've got tons and tons of mod videos that I've done to the truck, uh, along with uh, a series on a engine teardown and a series on an engine rebuild, and got another series coming soon on a complete transmission rehab. So uh, please remember to subscribe, and uh, appreciate you watching.